Hey, Alex. Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, what have you seen so far in the early film uh, on Old Dominion's offense, and what kind of stands out to you guys that you could maybe exploit on that defensive line? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, one, just have a great respect for that whole team, offense and defense. But uh, they got a lot of good football players, you know, when everybody at this level is good. They have, a, especially that offense, they have a lot of things they can do, a lot of different plays, personnels, all that. And so we're just every day breaking them down, trying to find things here and there. And that's at every position on the defense where we can kind of find our edge or, you know, get something going. So just constantly looking at it every day, seeing what we can find, if anything, and just going from there. With this, with this D-tackle room, and you know, it's the deepest, it's the oldest group on the team, do you feel like you guys have, even with all your experience, been able to take a step forward during camp? And if so, where do you feel like you guys are better since practice started? Yeah, I think uh, each person on D-line has truly took a step forward, myself included. Uh, besides the physical things, speed, strength, you know, we've all took a step up in there. But just technique, we've really harped on it, effort, and just, you know, the, the style in which we play. We're all on one standard. Our chemistry is great. So it's been a great camp. Great week leading up to uh, this week, so I'm just excited to get out there with this D-line. Uh, with JT Gear, he was named a uh, starter on the depth chart. From what you've seen being on the defensive line with him, what has stood out about him so far in fall camp? Uh, he makes plays. You know, he's a guy who – he has a long build. He's quick. He's twitchy. And so just seeing him out there make plays, you know, it's great to see, seeing because he this isn't his first year. And so, you know, he worked hard, real hard, and now he's he's getting to play. And so I expect him to make those same plays on Saturday. With DeAndre Jules and Monkel Goodwine, what did you see from those two guys in preseason camp? Uh, effort. You know, I think one of the things when you transfer in, coming from any school, wherever you're at, even as a freshman, is the playbook. You know, once you get to college, it is harder. It's more depth. It's so much going on. And so they came in, they attacked the playbook. You know, they got close with us as a, as a team, a family. And so now they're able to just really play fast. They know it. They know what to do. And so when you know things, you don't have to think. So they're not thinking. They're just playing. They're going and they're looking good. For, for you guys, and you've talked about this in the offseason with, with having those two guys helping out with, with some of the depth and, and you not having to play as much, do, do, do you all talk with the coaches of like, hey, you guys can expect to play this many snaps or this percentage of snaps? Or are those conversations you guys have during the week or anything like that? Um, I wouldn't say so, really. I mean, we all uh, – we know how the game's going to go and just – we sometimes we don't even know the two – going out there, you know, so it's really just how you practice is going to be how you play, you know, and so it's just every day you got to practice, you got to practice well, and kind of based off that, the, the best man's going to play, and they're probably going to play more, and so that's just how football is at every position, and so we all know we're going to get in the game, and so when you get in the game, just do the most with your reps. We're not too focused on the exact amount or count, really. We're just, when we hear our name called, go. Yeah, so so you mentioned, when so you guys are standing on the sidelines, say, you're standing there with uh, Coach T. Rob, and it's like you and TJ, and he's like, "All right, you, you two go, and <laughs> mm -hmm. you'll you'll come out when you come out." Is that sort of how it goes, basically? Yeah, really. I mean, uh, and Coach T. Rob's smart. Like he'd know if we have bad body language out there, we might give him a look, like, "Hey, Coach, I'm a little tired," and so he'll know to sub or maybe just Jules and Monkel maybe better at this personnel or with this play, and so it's really just off you know, the plays that are called and, and just how it's looking on the field. If a guy out there, let's say Tonk is going crazy, you know, I personally, I don't know if I'd take him out yet because he's hot. You know, he's playing well, keep him out there. And so it's just on the flow of the game. Appreciate y'all.